please hear me. If you are going to experience manifestation this year, there is something you must do. There is nothing in the kingdom of God that doesn't require your response. Nothing. Let me say this. Any faith that leaves God absolutely responsible for everything that happens in your life is an irresponsible faith. Any faith. If you say, um, tomorrow somebody asks you, are you going to work? God will do it. You're in the bed. Are you going to go to work? Uh, God has done it. Now, God is not going to wake up for you and go to the bathroom and brush your teeth and take a shower for you. You've got to do that. Isn't that right? So any faith that leaves God absolutely responsible for everything is an irresponsible what? Faith. Because faith without works is dead. The Bible says that as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So there must be a corresponding action in line with your faith. Are you following me? There must be what? A corresponding action. So let's say I'm driving from here to Manchester. And to get to Manchester, I need to go past the petrol station or the gas station and fill my tank up before I can get to Manchester. Now, if I go to the petrol station and I put one pound worth of gas or petrol in my car, do you think it will get me to Manchester? What's my destination? Manchester. But my corresponding action is not equivalent to my destination. Are you, are you following me so far? So, if you are going to experience manifestation, you must write down this year, God, I want to experience manifestation in the area of my weight. Mm, that's a no-go area. <laughs> yeah, that's a no-go area, but uh, <laughs> the, the Holy Spirit said we should go there. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I picked my son up from school last week, and then, well, he's only five. He said to me, Daddy, we've started talking about New Year resolution, and do you know what my New Year resolution is? I'm going to run every day. I said, boy, <laughs> you, you, you don't need to run. You are already healthy. <laughs> you are, where are you going to run? In this cold, how are you going to go? I said, okay, you can run in the garden if you want. But you don't need to run because you're already fit. We are the ones who need grace. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so, so if you are going to see manifestation in the area of your weight, there must be a what? Corresponding action. Isn't that right? What do you do? What's the corresponding action? You register the gym. <laughs> now that's a, that's the easy part. The registration is easy part. You register the gym. <laughs> the, the next thing now, after you have registered, is the what? Now, now, you are human beings in the church. I'm preaching. I have to look at your faces. The way you people are looking at me, it's like you say, Pastor, are you talking to me? Do you want me to look in the sky and I say, <laughs> I have to look at your faces. Now don't go home now and say, mm, I think today Pastor was talking about me. Please, I'm just preaching. God is helping all of us, including me. So you register at the gym, and can I confess my sins? 
I told my wife, there's one thing I have failed on all these years. We've been married by God's grace. This year will be 15 years. I have failed every year on one thing. And that is my health vision. Running. But this year, I will never fail. <laughs> this year, I will never fail. This year, I am determined to see a manifestation of the glory of God in my health. Say amen to that. And so I started eating leaves. <laughs> she said, would you like some pizza? I said, no. <laughs> I started eating leaves now. And you see, give me six months. We'll see manifestation. I said, we'll see manifestation. The same applies to all of us. So you register the gym. You get up early, depending on what time you start work, go to that gym, hit the gym, pump some weight, be disciplined. Because what you're not disciplined at will not happen. Are you following me? So, quick question we want to ask is what is manifestation? What is manifestation?